All right, today we're looking at section 6.5 and 6.6, .6, which deal more for linear programming and optimization. So this is more of a continuation of section 6.4, in which we change word problems into inequalities and graph them. In this case, we just optimize them a bit more, which essentially means we create what's known as an objective function, which helps us to get a maximum value from our graph, whether that's a maximum profit or amount of people attending something or a minimum value. So we'll essentially be doing the exact same as last set of notes, but adding another couple of steps. So for the graphing part, we're utilizing the same questions as we did with the previous notes, we're just adding in an objective function. So if you don't remember the graphing part, look back at the previous section of notes, a 6.4. Okay, so in the last section of notes, we had Jack has to buy a pop for a family movie night. Finny at least three liters of root beer and at least six liters of Dr. Pepper. Jack has enough to buy a maximum of 12 liters. Show graphically what combinations are possible. So at first part, we graphed last sections of notes and we ended up with this graph here. Now with that key thing to note was Dr. Pepper was Y. While root beer was X. Now what's new is it says he knows that family burps three times for every liter of root beer and twice for every liter of Dr. Pepper. What should he buy to minimize the burping? Okay, so now we want to come up with what's known as an objective function based off that information. So in this case, what we're solving for is the amount of burps. And that's going to be equal to three times every liter of root beer. So that'd be three times X. And twice for every liter of Dr. Pepper. So plus two times Y. So we now have our objective function, which we're going to utilize to help us find our solutions here. Now to find our solutions, we're actually using every single point within this area that represents our solution. So we have this point here, which is, let's see, that's three comma nine. So at three comma nine, we have a possible solution. We have another possible solution at three comma eight. We have another possible solution at three comma seven. We have another one at three comma six. We have another point here, which is four comma eight. We have four comma seven. Uh, four comma six. This point here would be five comma seven and five comma six. And then we've got this last point here, which is six comma six. So what we'll do is we'll use our objective function for each of these. So we have burps is equal to 3x plus 2y. We'll substitute these in. So we have 3 times 3 plus 2 times 9. Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 9 is 18. So 9 plus 18 is 27. So we'll do this for every single point in our solution area. So we've got three times three plus two times eight. So that's going to give us 25. So 
So in nets, we've got three comma seven. So that gives us three times three plus two times seven. So that gives us 23. Next, we have 3x plus 2y with an x of 3y of 6. That will give us 21. Do the next one. So that's 3 times 4 plus 2 times 8. So that's 12 plus 16. Which gives us 28. Next one, we have four comma seven. So I've got three times four plus two times seven. So that gives us 26. Next, we've got burps is three X plus two Y. So we have three times four plus two times six. So that gives us 24. Next, we once again have 3x plus 2y. So that would be 3 times 5 plus 2 times 7. So 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 7 is 14. which gives us 29. Next, we've got burps is equal to 3x plus 2y equals 3 times 5 plus 2 times 6, which will give us 27. And then we're down to our last one of 6 comma 6. So that's going to be 3 times 6 plus 2 times 6. which will give us 30. Now we're looking for which one produces the minimum. And this will be our answer. So this one here produces our minimum. So that was right here. So we would say three, which was our X, so three root beer and six Dr. Pepper would be our solution. but what I want you to notice as well is this here was on a corner here of this shape. You'll also notice our maximum of 30 was at six comma six, so another corner. So our max and min values are always going to occur in the corners of our graph. So because of this, instead of having to go fill in every single point and do this, we just do it with our corners. Okay, so we'll do another example. So this example is also from the previous section notes. So John the farmer is going to plant corn and beans. He has enough to plant four acres of corn and six acres of beans. However, he only has eight acres of land. So that part was from the last section notes that produced this graph here. We should note that Beans was our Y, while I believe corn was our X. Now we've added this extra part to create our objective function. He makes $100 for every acre of corn and $150 for every acre of beans. What should he plant to maximize profits? So we're looking at profits. 
So first thing, $100 for every acre of corn. Corn was X. So equals 100 times X plus 150 for every acre of beans. Beans was Y. Now looking at this, the previous shape was a triangle, so we had three corners. This is not a triangle, so we have several corners. So we've got this corner that's 0, 0. We have this corner that is 0, 6. We have this corner that is 2, 6. We have this corner here that is 4, 4. And we have this corner that is 4, 0. So we'll try each of these. So we've got, I'm just going to start listing them from here, working clockwise. So we've got 0, 0. We've got 0, 6. 2, 6. 4, 4. And 4, 0. Now we'll use our profits formula. So profits is 100. I might actually shorten this down to just P as we start doing it. So 100X plus 150Y. So for our first one, we have 100 times zero plus 150 times zero, which gives us zero dollars, which makes sense because if you don't plant either one, you're not gonna make any money. Next, we've got profits is 100X plus 150Y. So we have 100 times zero plus 150 times six. So that gives us 900. Next, we've got 100X plus 150Y. We have 100 times two plus 150 times six. So that will be 1100. Next, we've got profit is 100X plus 150 times Y. So that'd be 100 times four plus 150 times four. So that will give us 1000. Next, we've got prof is 100X plus 150Y. So that'd be 100, sorry, 100 times four plus 150 times zero. So that gives us 400. So we can see essentially this one here gives us our most profit. So that it's an X value of two. So he should plant. So X was two, so two acres of corn. And six acres of beans.